him on this guy because there's still some unknown stuff that's not going on that that's not known why ain't why didn't everybody else go to jail okay at that point and the reason why everybody else didn't come into jail because i stopped it because i was god don't put nothing on your shoulders that you can't handle Absolutely. so i'm a businessman it comes with the game so i listened to what these people had to say and i'm like they don't have nothing on us mm -hmm. but my situation came and this is just this is like skipping the bullshit. My situation came due to a guy that was in my cell. Mm -hmm. And he's my cellie. Mm -hmm. And in jail, you and your cellie is the two tightest people because that's like your person. Yeah, yeah. Now, allegedly, allegedly, and I'm saying allegedly real loosely, um, some people I got murdered for cooperating against a few guys that were in prison. Mm -hmm. So when they did that, they start bugging and tapping everybody's cells. Now, now in the federal system, we talk through the toilets. That's how we communicate. So if a toilet is bugged, and I'm saying, yo, what up, this and that, this and that, and we kicking it, they got that all on tape. So what happened was my Selly had some issues with his DA. Mm -hmm. He wanted to murder his DA, he wanted to do this. And they didn't mind him talking about that. Mm -hmm. But one day he's mentioned that his cousin followed the DA from the courthouse on a break and went across the street with a DA actually eat lunch. Mm -hmm. That was enough. So you can talk about it, but you can't act it. So when they came into our cells, they wanted to re they wanted me so bad anyway. So now they're trying to recharge me with attempted murder on this DA because allegedly what happened with Cabani and my whole family got murdered and a police officer um, what, uh, uh, allegedly allegedly in a Cabani Savage situation it was like they said that he allegedly burned the house down. Now there was kids in that house and it was um, a lady who worked as a CO at, at um, a state road. Mm -hmm. So that they was heated. The yeah. FBI came to me with this guy named Kevin Lewis, man. He came to me with tears in his eyes, man. He said, I'm gonna get every last one of you bitches who did that to that family. And I had to make it clear, I don't know them guys. I have nothing to do with them guys. And I didn't want no parts of that. Mm -hmm. Then when the situation came up with the DA, they was like ready to make me an example because they couldn't catch him or catch whoever who did that to them people. Mm -hmm. Baby, I'm smarter than that. And that's when I understood. They was trying to make it like the United States of America versus me. Okay? How does that make you feel? That that that's that's a bad position you want to be in. You go ask um Osama bin Laden or you go ask America America, the United States government against John Wilson, which is my real name. Mm -hmm. I wasn't taking that, sweetie. So what I did was I went in that courtroom and I had to separate myself from that gentleman. Mm -hmm. And it was like, play the tape. That was him speaking right there. That was me speaking right there. But people took that and said, oh, I snitched on my cellie. Mm -hmm. But my thing is like, hey man, I'm a man, dog. I'm, I'm not gonna go down and do 20, 30 years because it's a conspiracy against people who murdering witnesses and murdering people. The feds wasn't going for that. They was talking about lethal injection. But this is not even my brother. This is not my, this is not my, no. I'm like, no, that, that was a, and to be real with you, where I come from, and it's being real, you don't even allow that to go on a person who didn't say it. You take the case. Exactly. Like he should he was supposed to, he was supposed to be a man and say, yo, this is my situation, he had nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. But he didn't do that. Right. He thinking I'm gonna sit there and go back now. Nah, I mean Sweetie, if you're my woman and the police come in my house and they bust us with drugs, I say that's mine. I don't let you get locked up with me. You know what I'm saying? As a man, dog, like, like as a man. And if you decide to say, look, well, I'm cooperating, I can't be mad at you. That wasn't your drug. And, and that wasn't my situation. So that's how the whole snitching thing came about because it was already in the air. Yeah. So they go from Joy Molino, Shams Ali, this person, this person, this person, this person, this person, all the way down to this guy. Yeah. And then they had to flip it because I'm a powerful guy. See, it wasn't a lot of guys that sat down with Joey Millie, a black guy, who sat down with Joey Millie, no. Shamsi Dean Ali, the Muslims. Um, Mr. Shamsi Dean Ali, if you really want to get that straight, because he's a powerful gentleman. He controls all the Muslims in Philadelphia as far as being an E-man. That's a powerful gentleman. Mm -hmm. Me coming from Richard Allen Projects, I control thousands of wolves. People who will go out and attack on will. People who got money on will. So it's like, it's hard for me to, it's hard for me to uh, point the finger at anybody because I know how much money we got, mm -hmm. how, much, how much money we were making. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and there's no drug dealers out here I can ever. It's only streets now that I can say even amount to the money we were making. Absolutely, the game has definitely changed. <laughs>
It has definitely changed. So what are some events that you're doing now? I know that, you know, you found Jesus. Are you still into hip hop? And we want to know, the streets want to know. What I'm doing now, and it took a lot for these guys to get me back into the studio and record with my mm -hmm. partner Day and, 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 and <coughs> Day was on me for a minute trying to get mm -hmm. me back in the studio. Um, I finally came back to Philly. I said, you know what, I'll go and I'll, I was up to produce some projects. Mm -hmm. So when I came down here, I met with Bell Star, Kid Named Fahim. Um, mm -hmm. And I said, oh, let me see what these kids got. You know what I'm saying? So just listening, the, the music was right, um, the money was right, um, the situation was right, and I just got back into it. Then I picked up the phone, made a couple connects, got on the phone with Universal, Jeffrey Collins, um, and I, I went and got a deal for, um, for Green Dollar. The 34th floor is the production company. Green Dollar, Green Dollar is the the, uh, the media conglomerate company. We created a media company because I wanted people to have an outlet to speak their piece. Mm -hmm. Like in my situation, there was nobody that I can go to to speak my piece, mm -hmm. even if I was right or wrong. So, you, with you saying that, do you think that everything happens for a reason? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, do you feel like you're giving back to your community in a whole nother way? Have, like not, like, do you feel like you're giving back to your community in a whole other way, not just materialistically, but actually mentally? Right now, sweetheart, so this ain't even about my community no more. This is about the entire Philadelphia. Yeah. This is about the entire Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. This is about this is about the shot that we missed out on as Philly, mm -hmm. the Beanie Seagulls, the uh, the Gilly the Kids, the all these, the the, uh, the 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 ESTs, the Luxes, and the, the, all the guys who put in the uh, Task Force, the X Men, the Shadacious, all the guys who put in all that work to get the city popping. It died when I got indicted. Okay, it died when Beanie Seagull got indicted. You know, it died when Ace Capone and them got indicted. So my thing now is I have the finances, mm -hmm. I have the distribution through Universal. Mm -hmm. um, I have a company that's based in Atlanta, Green Dollar, 34th floor. And now I have an opportunity to come back and put some of these artists out the correct way. Help them get money. One thing I, one thing I realized in, in Real Talk, a lot of people don't know how to get money off their trade. Mm -hmm. God blessed me to get money off my trade. Mm -hmm. I can take a situation, I got guys in the town, they don't know how to communicate. So they don't know how to get a check. God has blessed me to go get checks. No matter what a person can say, good, bad, or indifferent, I know how to get money. So I want to come put some money in Meek Mill's pocket. You know what I mean? Uh, Rick Dollars and, and Vodka and all these other guys, Sandman Man and Ad Lava. I want to put some money in their pockets. They know how to know so how to get it. So you feel like, because I feel like, and I say this all the time, Philadelphia, we have so many talented artists. However, I feel like we're so imprisoned in this box where we beef with the the rapper from the next hundred and you know instead of going in i feel like we're just like in prison in this box i mean it, it hey that, then you 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 named that well but i mean i want to come back and link up with, with people like yourself mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying the people like nar the people like phillyheat.com and people like you guys and get back and, and get that stigma off us because we can do it baby i, I my, my first my first Six, my, not six, my first six months of the year, I made a mill six just off of doing other stuff. Mm -hmm. So now you see with Jay-Z and, and, and 50, you see and Beyonce, they making money off of other stuff. Yeah. So me being in prison, I had to become a genius mm -hmm. and put my mind at work. So um, we can definitely, and we have to crush the city and then rebuild it. nothing but Philly material. I'm using our beautiful women in our videos and our model and our commercials. I'm using the tracks that guys have here. I'm using Philadelphia. I'm going to show I, I just did I just I don't like the stigma they try to put on this city like we not we not fly niggas like we not young rich niggas like we don't have beautiful women. I mean I understand people got the beards and all that other stuff because that's that religion but they put a stigma on our town like we're dirty we grimy you know what I'm saying? We not get money dudes, and that's wrong. Mm -hmm. I mean, I try. Our body, though, don't get it fucked oh, up. Oh no, dog. We but also we <laughs> but also we throw niggas. Mm -hmm. and we, like when we when I travel the country, people got it. They got the stigma messed up. Mm -hmm. And when Beanie Siegel put out that state property movie, I think people took the wrong concept out of that. Yeah. And they made it seem like all all bosses, all JBM bosses, was like jokes. 
You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I'm not saying that that's what he was trying to do, but that's the way it came off. So niggas look at us like they don't look at they don't look at Frank. They don't look at um Aaron Jones as, as Big Meech, mm -hmm. and he was bigger than Big Meech. Mm -hmm. But the story wasn't told the correct way. I mean, that's Aaron Jones. That's the Philadelphia Black Mafia. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say he's bigger than Big Meech because I don't know Big Meech. Mm -hmm. But what I'm telling you is I know the history of Philadelphia. So the stories are not being told the correct way. So people are looking at us like we're not handling our business. Guys are going up to New York. Here's the problem. We get talent. They take it up to New York to Jay-Z suck his dick. Okay, Jay-Z sucks the life out of somebody, mm -hmm. becomes another young man again, like he took Chris's whole life. Mm -hmm. And Chris is his young dude, so I mean, I'm not saying that, that you know, that's how it go. Got nothing but love for Jay, mm -hmm. but Jay's a smart person. He sucks 10 years out of Chris' life, and then he becomes 10 years younger, and now he gets to put out another album, now he gets to do more, now he gets to do all the stuff he's doing because he has the finances. We gotta dead that. Mm -hmm. We gotta dead that. We gotta dead Rough Riders and all these guys coming here grabbing our talent, making them become them, and then when they finish with them, send them back broke. We have to dare that. We, there's no official company here in Philadelphia. There's no company that we can actually go to and get a check from. Where can we go get a check from? Who can write a check for us? Name one. Is it a Universal? Is it a Def Jam? Is it a Bad Boy? Is it, it's nothing here. And it's sad. So, I mean, it's time. I mean, the time is now. And I, I want to say this to the public, man. I want to say this to everybody. Like, say what you want to say. Have your opinions. But that's the street life. Okay? Musically, entertainment wise, I've been through a lot and I know a lot and I can help a lot of people get where they're trying to go. One thing I want to uh, clear up is you guys who are not street guys, stay out of street shit. Okay? Like if you're not a street guy, stop trying to be street. I lost my mother on these streets, man. I would do everything in the world not to be a street guy. I want to be a corporate guy. You know what I'm saying? I want my family and my daughters to raise and go. Get, when they get old enough, they go to college and then they, they go to school and they become something. I don't want them to look at me and think they gotta be street like that's cool. Being on the streets is not cool. And I wanna make another thing clear as the images that we put out to our young kids in like Killadale or, or City of Broadway murder, that shit goes into these kids' heads and they walk around with that stigma. That's why they're killing cops. That's why they're killing each other. It's not cool, man. We have to put some money back into our people's pockets. And people don't understand. When you take the drugs off the street, you make it harder for people in the community. That's why the murders are like this now. Back in the day, it was more coke. It was more money. It was weed. It was pills. It was syrup. They taking all that away now because of the, the war with the terrorists and different stuff like that. That stuff can't get in the borders. Mm -hmm. So that should come down on us and things are a little tighter. So when you want to go get your hair done and your nails done and you got to get it from your dude, he don't got it, so he got to automatically have an attitude with you because he really don't have it. So now all our women in Philly are walking around mad because the guys are mad. Mm -hmm. So when I say, hey, shorty, you look beautiful, she's whatever, you know, it's like. <laughs> you don't even know me like that, yo. But when you go to Atlanta <laughs> and you go to D.C., you go to these other places, people, hey, can I buy you a drink? Yes, I'm sure, and then I'm going to buy you one. Mm -hmm. So we have to let motherfuckers know we're thorough. With bosses, I'm a boss. This sweetheart, let me. Do, I don't know how well that you are familiar with me, but there's not an artist in this town that made more money than me besides Will Smith and Eve. The rest of them guys made okay money, but I'm still living off my money. I done got money took and got it back. So, and I and I got the bank accounts to prove it. I mean, if anybody want to put their money up, then that's a whole other story. But um, I mean, I'm here, man, I, and I have to say, you're stunning. Thank to get you. that out, I mean, you know, it's, it's more easy. I work to, hard, man. I work it, hard. It's real easy to talk to you, and you know, because you know, the easy on the eye. Thank you. So you guys heard it here, Tommy Hill. We still have some more questions. We're gonna go to the barber shop. Absolutely. Get some other questions in Philly Heat TV and Isla Bay. Let's get it. Thirty-fourth floor, Green Dollar. Holla. Right. There you go.